Hi, Amanda. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. Um, perhaps to start, could you perhaps introduce Pexa Park and explain what you do for the company? Sure. And hi, Mark. Thanks for welcoming me here. Um, Actually, Pexa Park is, a, is an advisory and a software company. We specialize in power purchase agreement and PPAs and in energy risk management for renewables. But basically, I work in the advisory team and we advise um, on the sell side um, all over Europe and in the US. So we basically, our main market is mainly the, the European market, but we've been also active in the US. So a bit opportunistic, if one of our European customer takes us in the US because they have assets over there, we happily go there if we can help, for example. And could you briefly explain what the company does? Yeah, um, so basically, uh, we have kind of, if you want, two frameworks. So we have an advisory team and I'm part of the advisory team where we provide um, advice to owners, to asset owners or uh, funds who will acquire renewable assets and they need help to structure the commercial term of their long-term power purchase agreement to uh, get the financing to build the asset, for example. And we also help them to manage um, the initial risk that comes with these assets over the long run, determine optimal hedges and so on. And we have um, a range of softwares as well to, to support with that. Great. And what motivated you to build a career in renewable energy? Um, so I was introduced uh, to the energy sector quite early on when I was considering a, a master's program. Uh, at the time I was in Australia and there was a bit of a mining boom, um, so I was pushed towards uh, oil and gas, I have to say. Um, so I started with that and then I went into, um, as an economist, I worked uh, um, still into resources and then I went into investment banking, specialised in, in energy. Um, and then since then, I, I never left the energy sector, if you want. Okay. As we know, wind energy remains a male-dominated industry. What challenges does that create for you on a day-to-day -day basis? And how do you think it's affected your career path? Um, yeah, I mean, I think on a day-to-day -day basis, um, what I find perhaps perhaps most challenging is that anything you do ha ha has a tendency to stand out. Um, if you do something well, then yes, great, it stands out. But if you make a mistake or if you're unsure, then I feel like that also stands out, which is quite challenging. Um, and in terms of how it has shaped my career, um, I would say that actually very early on in my career, I started in investment banking. Um, and there I, I was the, the only woman, basically. And I thought that was quite destabilizing. I mean, I, I thought that was quite challenging. And that's probably, I mean, it is one of the main reasons actually why I left investment banking early on. I was like, I think this is a bit uh, too challenging. And I was quite young, perhaps more impressionable at that time. So um, I think it has shaped my career in that way. Like I left investment banking. But today, I would say that I'm, I'm, it made me more resilient and I'm, you know, now today I'm like, I want to do something about it. I don't want to let the next woman enter investment banking and be surprised or um, unsettled by the fact that she's the only woman. And personally, in terms of, as you say, standing out more, being under more scrutiny, how have you, how have you coped with that additional pressure? Um, that's a good question. I think I've coped with it by uh, trying to find allies within my company. So, um, for example, I, I try to speak to other women, let be in other teams, try to get some support. But also in my own team, I try to get some support from my team members. Perhaps sometimes I have mentioned or I feel a little bit unsure about this and that. Can you help me out? Can you back me up? Um, and that has helped me a, a lot. And I think most people are responsive to this. Sure. And finally, what advice would you give uh, women thinking about a career in the wind industry? Um, I think, I think they should support each other and try to find uh, support within the industry. Um, I think there are a lot of women in the same situation. 
and you know there is a power in number um, there is a support in number so try to find your own little group of support and try to find allies within within your organization Thank you.